Welcome back beautiful people. It's Kenya and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to do a review on this hair I have in and <laughs> I'm pausing there because I got this hair quite a while ago. Um, if I if my memory serves me correctly, I put this in in May. Um, I put it in to go to Brazil. I have since taken the hair out of the sew-in that I had in and then I put it on a wig cap which is what I've been wearing in the last few videos that you've seen. It's like a five month review. <laughs> um, well, it's the end of May, so let's say like June, July, August, September. Four month review of this hair and how it held up. Um, I didn't realize it was actually four months, but yeah, it's been four months. So if you remember, or if you haven't seen the video, I did color this hair myself. I used a series of bleach liners and some oil to get this whole look. If you wanted to see that video, you can totally go, or I'll leave it down in the in the down bar below. Basically, I think I'll put the specs of how long this hair was when I got it. I really do like this hair. This is from Her Hair Company, if I didn't mention that before. I really do love this hair, and I am pretty impressed with the company, not gonna lie. Um, it does look, you know, a little fried now because I've had I've had it for, like I said, four months. And I have been, you know, going crazy with the straightener, and I've been putting curls in it, and I've been wetting it and all of this stuff, and it has gone through hell, especially if you watched my video on how I colored the hair in the first place. I colored it like six times <laughs> because I completely messed up and turned like the parts too bright, and then it didn't look good with my skin tone, so then I had to like darken them again and start over, and then I kept coloring it the wrong like color to darken it, so it was like red, and it was strawberry blonde, and it was a totally like a whole bunch of different colors that it shouldn't have been, and I finally arrived at this, which I loved. You know, it may be time for me to start, you know, getting a little change in there. Summer is over, although I do think I want to keep, you know, my little blondes for a while because that was the first time I colored my hair really like you know a kind of shocking shocking color that wasn't ombre so I'm, I'm ready to give another chance either way um when I first got the hair it probably came down a little bit towards my hip sorry about the cleavage y'all <laughs> um, it probably came down to more towards my hip these ends I will say that as I think it was it must have been last month at the end of last month so meaning the end of August um I decided to go in and take a one of these little razor things to the ends because the ends of the hair like I was seeing a lot of split ends especially in like the longer pieces so I had to trim it a little bit because they were getting a little ratty like especially like how it is up here where the blonde is I mean I don't know if you guys can see that but the ends are starting to look a little crispy and so <laughs> um, I tried to cut off a little bit up here but I just think you know the hair up here is just a little bit done like it, I've had it for a little too long I've been putting way too many heat products on it and haven't really been taking care of it too well when it comes to the coloring and the heat the hair itself the actual bundles I loved and I mean for the most part it, it held up really well and it's still holding up pretty well I'm actually gonna take the bundles and transfer it onto another wig cap but what I do need to do is give up on this closure right here as you can see you can see I'm looking a little bald over here in this section I mean I think I've been gentle with this closure although I did say I had been straightening it and stuff I haven't been like yanking the hair out or anything so um, to see that I have lost so much hair here I used to like to wear the hair in a little flip on this side so that like it stood up it stands up a little bit and I can like you know, get that little little hump flip thing. I mean, it's not working now because I like sp I sprayed it down. But if you can see, now I have a, like a flesh tone color wig cap. All of the hair here <laughs> just completely came out, and I don't know how that happened because I mostly wear it on this side because this is the way I braid my hair under the wig cap. I braid it this way over and then a little bit right here like a, like this way down so my part is exactly where this part is so it's usually never like actually it's never on this side the whole time I've been wearing the hair so I really don't know how this like whole bald spot situation happened right here but um I can't be walking around like this this is not cute so <laughs> I am definitely going to be changing this hair like I said 
Um, I really like the color. I'm sad that I had to like give up on this closure, but it has to happen. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> so, so what I did end up doing is I bought a silk based closure. I haven't tried one, but my friend Shirley from the channel Shirl JB um, did a nice review on a silk based closure and it looked really natural. So I decided I should try a silk based closure. So I bought one from Kendra's Boutique. I didn't end up buying the same closure from her hair company. Um, when it came, it was nice, it was beautiful, all like the length was the same all around and I really appreciated that. I just don't know if the hair kind of stayed in the way I would have expected it to from another closure, but then again it had been a while since I wore another closure, but actually no, that's not true. I have, I have some curly hair that I wear a lot, like you know, a little fro hair, which you guys will see later. Um, but. I wear that a lot and that involves a lot of combing with my Denman brush, a lot of combing out to make sure that the curls aren't getting um, tangled in each other, that they're not getting matted. And I've had that for way longer than five months and like people at work see me wearing that all the time and I've done everything to that hair, colored it a million times and that closure is held up. So I'm just slightly disappointed in this closure um, but I... No, you know, it's not the end of the world. There's <laughs> the closure stood up for a good four four to five months. Um, I think closures are usually the first things to go. It just the only thing that sucks about her hair company is that I wish that they had frontals. Not because I want to do the whole baby hair thing or anything, but the hair I had in before this, which I think I did a review on, it was some AliExpress hair. I had a frontal from them and it was so nice to be able to part my hair any which way. And like, you know, some of the hairs came out a little bit at the front, but I think, you know, as a whole, I didn't get like the bald spots like that I got with this closure. And I had that hair for a while too, so, um, but it, you know, it's nice to like, you know, do a little braid across the front, just get a little fancy with it. Just, I get tired of just wearing the hair down and the same thing, because you know, I can't put it up too much. Which I try to put it up, you guys saw my last video, I had it up. In a little bun but then you didn't see my my kitchen back here so <laughs> this closure has seen its day I am going to lay it to rest RIP closure but I will be putting the rest of the hair which is still in pretty good condition onto another wig cap with a different closure now um, I don't think I got to and I think you guys have probably seen in several other videos but this hair does very well with water um, I will go to the beach, get in the water, and this hair will curl up beautifully. And, you know, that's the one thing that I was worried about with this new hair that I bought, which, you know, I can't really give a review on yet because I haven't gotten a wear. I've just, you know, seen it sitting there on the closure. <laughs> but, um, uh, this new hair, I'm just not sure if it's going to curl up the way that this hair curled up. And, like, I'm wondering, like... I bought the wavy, Brazilian wavy by the way. I'm wondering if it's gonna be as nice as this Brazilian wavy gets. And like, I know I, I colored this already, so that means that like, you know, maybe the waves got a little bit looser. I mean, I, knew, I do notice that sometimes they get a little bit looser up here at front than, than the rest of the hair, but like, you know, it holds, it holds its nice wave so nicely and I'm just, I'm so upset that I just, I can't have the same exact hair on the closure I want. So, or the frontal, so. Here's half and half. This is dry and straight. This is wet and curled. On shedding, I do need to say this. On shedding, at first it didn't shed at all. Barely anything. And then after a while, I do notice that my boyfriend notices a lot of hair around the room. <laughs> there is hair everywhere. Um, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know if it was the coloring or me coloring it so much or you know just the fact that the closure like just doesn't have any hair left so maybe all of that hair is from the closure. From when I started I think I had like four bundles in. When I started I did have a lot of hair and I feel like I still do have a lot left. That's really what I want to say. I still feel like I do have a lot a lot of hair left. I noticed in the back of my nape like, where it gets tangled a lot just because, you know, everybody's hair gets tangled at their nape. I did lose a lot of its density um, on that back weft, but I think really that has more to do with the fact that, it, you know, it gets tangled there. 
on tangling in general, barely any tangling I holds up really well with tangling. Um, I think I've gone through everything. Tangling, shedding, coloring, closure, <laughs> um, wefts and stuff. I think for the most part it all held up well. Good job, her hair company. Maybe work on the closure a little bit and get you some frontals after you work on the closure. <laughs> um, but after that, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with my decision, with my purchase, <laughs> and four months later, I'm still rocking it, and it still looks sort of okay. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned to, I guess, see what my next hair is going to look like, and maybe if it still resembles this, you know. Can't switch it up too much, because I plan to go, like, short and blunt for the fall, so... I'm trying to like keep the blonde for a little longer before I shock my coworkers again. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I helped your decision on whether you're gonna buy her hair company hair or not. If you want to see more pictures of this hair in its wavy state, in its straight state, in its curly state, then please go visit my Instagram at Kenya Asia. All of those links are down below. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, so you don't miss a video from me and. I'll see you in my next video.